Here. We're nearing lunchtime, so what I would like to do is actually sum up some of the arguments this, uh, the Labor opposition has made around this. Uh, as mentioned, as it's been alluded to by Minister Dunn, Labor does support this bill. It supports the two SOPs, one put forward by Minister Dunn, one put forward by uh, the ACT MP David Garrett, and would ask uh, Minister Dunn to seriously consider supporting Labor's SOP. Uh, one of the main reasons that Labor has put this SOP up is, of course, to give some sort of GST relief uh, in terms of rates relief to, uh, to good, good, hard-working New Zealanders. But the other reason we'd like Mr Dunn to consider supporting this SOP is because in principle and in practice, it's incredibly similar to the other provisions which are being exempted until the end of this financial year. And by that, what I actually mean is the rates bills are actually out. Ratepayers have the bills in their hands. They've been in the letterbox. They know what their rates are going to be. And in fact, a lot of councils have actually put on the bottom of the rates notice, if you pay this bill in full, you will only pay 12.5% GST. However, if you stagger your payments, you will pay 12.5% GST on the first part and you'll pay 15% GST after, on any payment <laughs> after the 1st of October. So there are two reasons why this is a good SOP. As mentioned, one, it provides a measure of relief to good, hard-working New Zealanders, but two, it fits into the general practice and the general theory of the other um, parts of Mr Dunn's SOP that, in fact, Labor are supporting. So we'd like you to, uh, not you, Mr Chair, we'd like uh, the Minister uh, Peter Dunn to support this and to have a look at it over the, old, the, the philosophical and the practical approach to, uh, to his other SOPs. Um, some of the other arguments, it has, been, uh, it has been held up by Mr Foss and Mr Dunn that Labor is supporting this and therefore by supporting this we support an increase in GST. Nothing could be further from the truth and I want to have it on record once more that Labor does not support any increase in GST. Labor has never supported any increase in GST. If this bill was about an increase in GST, we would absolutely not be supporting it. In fact, we are supporting SOPs that limit the GST down to 12.5% through to the end of the financial year. Uh, we talked, we've talked about savings. We've talked about a complete and utter lack of plan. Labor is the party that has, in fact, put measures in place to increase the savings of New Zealanders. There was the Kirk Government Savings Plan, which, of course, National abolished. Uh, there was the Cullen Super Fund, which, of course, National has stopped contributions to. And then what we have is a government that comes out and says they're going to set up a committee. They're going to set up a committee. Two years after assuming Treasury benches, they're going to set up a committee. I wonder if that's what their polling tells. Labor has been talking about this for a long, long time. Ever since we assumed opposition for the brief three-year period, savings has been an issue that we have articulated clearly. As Mr Dunn will know, as Revenue Minister in the last Labor government, savings was a big part of Labor's platform. And as the vast majority of Kiwis will attest to in any sort of polling done by any party, Kiwi Saver was incredibly important and the Cullen Fund was supported. Again, I just want to come back to the SOP because we're talking about savings, we're talking about families. Mr Dunn was, in fact, the Families Commission. My wife, sorry, no, he set up the Families Commission. What we are asking for in the Labor SOP here is some relief for families who are living the dream, who own their own home, but are going to struggle to pay the rates at 15%. And when someone like Mr Gilmore stands up and says, it's only $25... Well, I would suggest that that member is a little out of touch. Any amount of money is important to families who are really struggling, who are really struggling to budget with an increase in GST anyway. The price of the petrol, the price of their food, the price of their clothes, basic necessities are going to go up. What we are actually asking this minister is give them some relief along these lines because it is an absolute it is in absolute alignment with the Minister's own principles about families. It is absolutely in line with the Minister's own principles as set out in his SOP. Mr Chair, we do support this bill for a whole raft of reasons. It is a bill that, makes, that closes loopholes, that makes it easier for Kiwis to come home, which we support, even though I doubt many will under this government. And it is a bill 
that makes it easier for Kiwis to do business. Thank you. Carol Beaumont. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I just want to pick up.